With only a little more than a week remaining before the expiration of the current Farm Bill, the U.S. House of Representatives is trying to move on a nutrition bill. You'll recall the legislation it moved earlier this summer was farm only, but the House wants to have a nutrition on the table when or if they make it to conference with the Senate. However, the cuts currently being proposed are double what was being tried in June. UNL Extension Public Policy Specialist Brad Lubin talked with us this week about what that might mean for an overall outcome and also how some lesser known titles of the Farm Bill could be affected when a conclusion is finally reached. You know, of course, Congress is back in session uh, here after Labor Day. Uh, this week, in fact, they have moved the nutrition bill. The House uh, Republicans have moved a nutrition bill forward and we expect consideration of that. It's a much more aggressive proposal than what even failed in the uh, Farm Bill vote back in June. It's not 20 billion in proposed cuts, it's 40 billion. So whether the House does or doesn't get that bill forward, whether they get a, a vote or not on it, uh, it's a big push uh, that's substantially away from the Senate's four billion cuts to nutrition. Uh, it sets up the stage for the uh, negotiations to come on a conference committee vote, but it probably also makes those negotiations harder. Yeah, this part is very fluid, their deadlines right now, but if it goes to conference, does that mean automatically, hey, got a farm bill? Well, if it does go to conference, uh, we pr presume we can go to conference with or without this nutrition bill this week uh, and, and that we can proceed, but there's still a lot of complicated issues to address, including the nutrition funding in general, uh, commodity programs, crop insurance title, a lot of language there yet to sort out. No, it doesn't get resolved very quickly. We have some framework to expect what it would look, out, look like, but we still have some real difficult timing questions. Smart money still on the no. No bill in September before the current ex program expires. Likely no immediate extension of current policy while we sort of wait out the next three months. The real push, the real cliff becomes again in December when we have to do something relative to 2014. So a little bit of time to get it done if in fact they're ready to proceed, uh, but still uh, delayed. The components of the Farm Bill, we know nutrition, the nutrition title plays a huge role and crop insurance does as well. Tell me about some of the lesser ones and how they're being impacted here. Well, as you described, the headline issues and maybe the biggest stumbling blocks have been the nutrition title, the commodity and crop insurance titles as part of the safety net. But don't forget, a, a substantial part of the language in the bill at least is all these other programs that are relevant to uh, consumers, relevant to rural America. Uh, think of the conservation title. Uh, six billion a year projected over the next 10 years. Actually bigger than the commodity title uh, because it's growing at the same time the commodity title has been shrinking. Why the investment, why the public investment in conservation? Well, people want to see good stewardship of the nation's resources. Agriculture is the nation's biggest steward of those land resources and the Farm Bill is the place to take care of that. And the energy title as well? Energy title has been uh, quite a bit of uh, focus in the last couple Farm Bills about expanding opportunities, getting that new technology in place, getting it commercialized, uh, encouraging the development of the new bioenergy sector. Big energy policy like the renewable fuel standard is really outside of the farm bill, but some of the research and development that might give us that next generation cellulosic finally at a commercial stage, that's happened within the farm bill title. While there was talk of the bill moving to the floor, at the time of this taping, no vote had taken place.